One, two, three. Hi everybody. Today we will show you the unboxing of uh, Aura Fireball 466. This is a DSP with built-in 4 channel plus AB amplifier which has 4 inputs and 6 output. So all the details about the product is already mentioned over here. It includes the BT receiver and a control and the specification is mentioned. As you know every DSP requires a PC software or a mobile app to tune it. So there is a QR code given here where you just scan it, visit to our Enigma website. You can download the PC software or a mobile app directly. And the specification is mentioned over here. Aura class AB4 channel amplifier, RMS power 35 watts into 4 at 4 ohms. So, and plus uh, DSP resolution of 24 bit power of 48 kilohertz. Okay. And this one has the Aura DSP has a 31 band equalizer and uh, which can be tuned and along with that also there is host of other audio features uh, based step by step and uh, first let's go for the unboxing so when you open the box you have the uh, pc connection cable which is with a one end goes to the usb the other end goes to the uh, aura dsp unit and then you have the power connector okay so this unit also has a uh, Bluetooth remote control. This is the uh, Bluetooth remote control which goes into the NOx power and also a remote control where uh, you can pair your smartphone directly uh, to the DSP and you can play your uh, songs from there or you can even change the, uh, the connection from high to low. Uh, also uh, USB can be done, the USB can be played through the power uh, DSP and now this is the DSP this is the power DSP okay now let's go to the connection so this has uh, optical uh, or you call it as a toast link and then you have the connectors and a coaxial input and then of course you have uh, input which is called auxin one and two and then six outputs along with that also it has a pc input and then you have the connectors and a coaxial input and then of course you have uh, input which is called auxin one and two and then six outputs along with that also it has a pc input and uh, high or ACC uh, power uh, the way you are connecting your uh, set and auxin Mus uh, IR is basically where you input your uh, uh, infrared uh, remote receiver uh, control and then you also have a USB player a USB slot and uh, this DSP you can also switch on and switch off uh, for example if you have connected the, the head unit uh, and this DSP to uh, so in case you want to switch off and switch on uh, this uh, DSP can also be done. So this is the basically uh, the unboxing. It also comes with a manual uh, along with that also comes with a warranty card. Okay. So basically the manual shows how to connect your uh, the, uh, this DSP. And uh, so what we do is now uh, we will log into the uh, uh, we will download the software and then we will show you how to use the software okay in the next video thank you uh, further to my first video uh, about the use of uh, dsp's uh, software for our fireball 466 so what we can do is first we have to go to the product automotive audio aura to download the software you select amplifiers fireball series and then you have this model aura 466 you click on it and then you go to download so here you have three files which you can download first of all number one is the user manual and number two is the android app. app basically this is an apk app so you can download this app and you can do the tuning from your mobile phone also and then uh, our dsp 466 is a pc software so you click on it download the software i have already downloaded on this uh, laptop 
So sometimes when you download this uh, app and execute, it shows that uh, don't run this program or something. You click on more and then it shows run anyway. So then uh, the software gets installed. Uh, sometimes uh, in the Windows 11 version, this software gets flushed out. Uh, then uh, you have to go to the setting and the virus protection and then allow this software to run. And uh, this is not a harmful uh, software which will damage your laptop. So then uh, the software gets installed. Uh, sometimes uh, in the uh, Windows 11 version, this software gets flushed out. Uh, then uh, you have to go to the setting and the virus protection and then allow this software to run. And uh, this is not a harmful uh, software which will damage your laptop or something. So it's easily uh, it can be downloaded and now uh, <clears throat> on this uh, laptop we have downloaded the software this is the software aura dsp 466 so i'm click on clicking on it and uh, basically this is your entire uh, setting console on the for the dsp uh, so now uh, this has got uh, 31 band uh, eq setting and uh, before I move into this one, I just want to show you the how you connect the uh, uh, the DSP unit with the laptop. Basically, uh, this is the cable, uh, PC cable, which I showed you in the unboxing, uh, which comes with the unit. So you connect this, the PC side on the unit. And then you have the USB, which goes into your laptop. So once you connect this, the system immediately recognizes and it shows it is connected. Uh, as you can see here, uh, the, uh, the connect cable, which I showed you in the unboxing, uh, which comes with the unit. So you connect this, the PC side on the unit. And then you have the USB, which goes into your laptop. So once you connect this, the system immediately recognizes and it shows it is connected. Uh, as you can see here, uh, the, uh, the connect button turns to green color, which says it is connected. And then in case if you want to disconnect after you're done with the setting, you can disconnect. Uh, and what we have done is we have used a, a high level connection over here and we're not using a RCA. Uh, you know, the DSP setting depends on car to car and uh, it depends on the car space and what kind of car whether it is sedan or suv it depends on the uh, space so uh, it is so i cannot exactly give you the right setting uh, for the each car uh, we are just showing you how to use the app uh, not to set the uh, setting it's very difficult so you have to ask the installer to do the setting as per your car as per the speakers your uh, uh, installing and also as per the uh, uh, listening position so this is the unit so we have connected through the high level uh, and the and then you have the pc cable so so on this for the each car uh, we are just showing you how to use the app uh, not to set the uh, setting it's very difficult so you have to ask the installer to do the setting as per your car as per the speakers your uh, uh, installing and also as per the uh, uh, listening position so this is the unit so we have connected through the high level uh, and the and then you have the pc cable so so on this uh, home screen what uh, you can see is uh, basically there are this is a high pass filter uh, there are different three types of setting which you can do is butter link and vessel and uh, these are like a taste like a, three different person has a three different taste. That's what I can, uh, we can say. And uh, normally most of the people use butter and uh, link is something where if you are adding more amplifier and uh, uh, then probably expanding the system on a bigger uh, scale and then probably link would be uh, much better. And the frequency, frequency is something where uh, you, it depends on each speaker. So you have to check the, uh, speakers uh, frequency and then you can input uh, accordingly 
slope again uh, you can set the slope into different uh, uh, sound level 6 to 24 you can do the setting same thing goes for the lpf low pass filter butter and uh, frequency setting this one and then you have p eq and g accordingly slope again uh, you can set the slope into different uh, uh, sound level 6 to 24 you can do the setting same thing goes for the lpf low pass filter butter and uh, frequency setting this one and then you have p eq and g eq basically p eq is that you can move the uh, eq setting the right and left and uh, depend on each frequency and as per taste you can adjust in case of g eq you you just move up and down you cannot move it to the uh, right and left it just has to be only straight up so then delay uh, unit this is basically the unit uh, millisecond ms millisecond or centimeter basically this is a time alignment feature so it depends on the listening position the speaker uh, for example the speaker right next to the driver uh, the speaker which is right installed in the door the sound comes uh, the right speaker much earlier than compared to the speaker which is installed on the left uh, left door uh, to the listening person who is a driver uh, so <clears throat> basically you give some delay time delay so that the sound comes uh, uh, at the same time to your ears and then this is the file so when you do all your setting you save the file you can have six six kind of uh, settings so it depends on your taste or uh, uh, the setting you like you can save the files i am so probably you can try this to cut off the sound, uh, uh, noise and then link link is again uh, linking uh, you know uh, basically when you do the setting for channel one uh, you don't have to repeat the same process on uh, channel two three and four so easily you can just uh, select link call and then automatically the setting gets uh, uh, copied to the second third and fourth and the fifth and sixth is basically for the subwoofer so you have this uh, uh, for the speakers one to four and five to six is for uh, speakers and now this is your uh, eq setting uh, basically it starts with uh, from the right hand side super high frequencies high frequency mid high frequency mid mid bass bass and subwoofer so depending on each uh, taste of each person or or the whatever the speakers you have installed you set the frequencies so i will just explain to you the basic uh, you know uh, the setting how the when I change the frequency how the sound changes so I'll just play some music so when I change the super high frequency you will start noticing there will be more of treble So you 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 can uh, listen that you can hear the difference that the the sound especially the high notes uh, will start uh, you will start noticing the difference and <clears throat> then you set the high frequencies. So this setting basically depends on the user taste or uh, the uh, depends on the speaker depends on what kind of system you are installing and what kind of music you are listening depends on individual taste so <clears throat> also it depends uh, on the space inside the car whether it is suv or whether it is a sedan or what kind of uh, uh, speakers have been used and uh, installed so it's i cannot really show you uh, uh, what is the right setting here because this is basically for you to show how to uh, use that software so let's say for example i change this is how you can change the setting You know, individually uh, I'm just going uh, randomly so if this is not the recommended uh, uh, EQ setting so you can choose as per your uh, this one so now basically I have set uh, this is the EQ setting so now what I do is I just copy this to all the second third and fourth channel so what I do is I click on link call so you can see here all the channel must be all the channel must be linked choose from channel uh, chain this is how you can change the setting you know individually 
uh, I'm just going uh, randomly. So if this is not the recommended uh, uh, EQ setting, so you can choose as per your uh, this one. So now basically I have set uh, this is the EQ setting. So now what I do is I just copy this to all the second, third and fourth channel. So what I do is I click on link all. So you can see here all the channel must be all the channel must be linked choose from channel uh, will copy from one two three four so from one i just copy to uh, four channels so all the frequency is being copied you can see here okay okay we'll stop it <laughs> now since we have uh, set the frequencies now we have to save this so what we do is we go to here file file one and we press save so the all the settings is now saved in file one and also saved in this uh, unit so also what you can do is you can even e export these uh, settings to your laptop so next time in case uh, you want to recall those settings just give some file name file one file number one I gave a name as file number one setting C. So it shows the export to file success. So this setting is also been saved on my uh, laptop and uh, also these uh, settings have been saved on the uh, DSP. So what I do is now I disconnect. Now in case if I want to import those settings again, uh, again the same procedure connect the this one I press on the import here is my setting I just press uh, select this open all my setting gets uh, imported so another way is like let's say setting I just press uh, select this open all my setting gets uh, imported so another way is like let's say for example I just reset this entire thing let me just make it flat now this is flat so i have saved the setting on my laptop so i will call for it this is my setting just to show you so you can see that the import is successful so whatever i have saved uh, those uh, setting has come back onto this one and again it has been saved on my uh, unit so this is how you use this uh, software but uh, again it depends on each car kind of speaker and the kind of listening position and kind of taste the user has depending on that these frequencies can be uh, set this is another area where you can adjust the delay timing which i showed you here delay those things you can adjust here so automatically let's say for example i put two seconds delay on the first channel you can see that two seconds milliseconds delay so these things can be also set here so basically uh, your this is how you use the software i thank you so much